on Stuff About Stuff, Snook's topic is money and what to do when you don't have any. How you getting on? You know, I've been thinking about money a lot lately. It's always a kind of a drag sort of subject, but you got to have it, so, you know, important. Now, most times, I got no money. Bummer. Especially when lots of knobs seem to have so much of it all the time, which always makes having nada so much worse. But then, every once in a while, not very often, but a couple of times over the years, for some reason or another, I get some money. I mean, I really got money. And it's like, oh, wicked, money, what's going on here? And it might not exactly be like I really got more than I need, certainly. Like more than it would take to pay off everything I owes everybody and everything. But, you know, few shekels beyond what it takes to keep the knobs off the step and the wolf from the door, right? And when that happens... It's hard not to go a little snaky after having none for so long. Try as you might, all of a sudden you can go there and get that and do what you want for a change. Maybe even what you've been dreaming about for friggin' ever, thank you very much. And you can convince yourself of all kinds of stuff that wants our needs and you deserves it. And two weeks in a hot spot is not so nuts. But guaranteed, believe you me, there always comes a day, don't take too long usually, that you wake up and says, oh crud, what am I after doing here now? Sure would be nice to have some of that back. Can't pay no back taxes with a tan, right? So you go lean cuisine after the holiday scene in, cut the cable, fire on the mac and cheese substitute, hop on the wagon. Drastic measures to be sure. Cut the clot to fit the suit <laughs> like you can afford a suit. Nobody's happy. All hands crooked. Most want to boot you and your debt crows out of the house. Why didn't you save none for a rainy day? How come you spent the works? Who's going to buy the grub and pay the rent now? And all you can do is scramble and hope to God you can still fix it and promise that you'll be back in the black and say, oh, five years or so, like anybody's going to buy that pap. So there you are, looking and feeling like a tool, fun times over, nothing but regret cooking up in your dark and dodgy days to come, and it's all your fault. You blew it, you knew it, and still shot the wad. Another decade in the buckaroo badlands. Without the bread, you are toast. What was briefly a have house, now have not again. Sad, really. Moral to the story? Fool and his money soon parted. Spend like a drunken sailor, end up adrift. Or simply act like the big, big banana when you only got a pair of berries. Chances are you end up hung like a Hawkins cheesy. Meantime, the neighbors are getting 500 skins of plate. But that'll end the same way. Ah, the money train. Somehow we always get left off. Right on. <laughs>